Hi, my name is Debonair Furs, and I wish to provide some insight into the benefits of one-to-one -one mobile computing. First, I want to say that we live in a world that is surrounded by technology. And while some of us may find this new phenomenon to be new and scary, for many of our students, it is just very natural. It's something that they've grown up around. This is the type of technology and environment that is normal for them. So these students are surrounded by technology in all areas of life. But unfortunately, in most cases, such as this one, they have not been able to experience that same technology and the extremely helpful uses of it in school just because we haven't had that opportunity yet to give them a learning environment that is enhanced with technology. So that is why I'm here today and I really appreciate all of you taking the time to listen to my promotion. First, I want to say that we are suffering from a real problem and that is just the lack of technology that is currently available in schools for students. Um, part of it is just staying relevant to students. Technology is a way of life now, so bringing technology into the school will help to stay relevant and will help students be able to connect with peers and teachers and their learning environment. The solution to this problem um, is that we need to bring technology in. We need to create a technological environment where teachers and students can collaborate and work online with technology using laptops. The right technology will provide students with a global learning environment better collaboration and communication with peers and teachers, cultural awareness, educational resources, online classroom settings, and so much more, because the opportunities of technology are boundless. The sort of one-on-one -on -one learning environment that I would hope to achieve is an environment where teachers are able to use an individual laptop, and each student will have an individual laptop for their use. So these laptops could be used um, to create a fully online learning experience. And when I say online, obviously, um, there are going to be opportunities for students to use their laptops without internet access as well. Um, these learning environments would utilize Windows 10, Microsoft Office, educational apps and resources online, um, opportunities to take tests, quizzes, and do assignments from their laptops, and be able to collaborate, do research projects, multimedia presentations. The entire classroom curriculum and resources could be could become available using this technology, and it would just. Um, I'm sorry. It would help to eliminate some of the time and the amount of energy that teachers have to waste um, making copies and writing out notes or having students write notes. I remember from my own high school experience, we would spend half a class or more simply writing notes. And with this type of technology, teachers could have lectures and make videos of these lectures online, they could lecture and have students looking up this information while they're lecturing or have the notes already readily available online for students to save and study. So it could really just help to eliminate some of the issues we have um, without the use of technology. Now, the way that I would recommend implementing this one-to-one -one mobile commuting is using the Dell's Latitude 11 
educational series laptop. It provides a touch screen so students would be able to collaborate easier within groups and it also um, helps with the students creativity and imagination being able to physically touch and move and maneuver anything that they see on their screen. Um, it has Windows 10 with the option to download the entire Microsoft Office which can be used without internet access and saved. Um, USB slots for info sharing. It's wireless, has an excellent battery life. Um, Full-size keyboard and the personal favorite part is the 180 degree hinge which means that it is very durable and um, less likely for students to have issues with it breaking. <laughs> You'll have also, they'd also have access to documents and educational apps without internet access. Um, activity lights would notify educators when students are online. Um, they have two speakers, they have a webcam, and they have a microphone. This would definitely help for students to listen to videos or to make videos or multimedia presentations, which are becoming more and more common in a college setting. So teaching these students this at an earlier age is just going to help benefit them in the future. Um, but something that is obviously very important to all of you would probably be the durability and um, how much these laptops are able to withstand just because you would be investing your money and your school's money into this type of technology. Luckily, I've looked it up and these laptops um, are very durable. They have a spill-proof design that is the best in their class for liquid spills. Uh, the keypads are completely encased, so they will not be damaged by liquid spills, and um, they have best-in-class drop protection with rubberized sides that are made to absorb shocks, so accidental drops and things like that are way less likely to cause any sort of damage and scratch-resistant screens, since they're a touch screen that really, really is helpful. So you wouldn't have to worry about students accidentally scratching or damaging the laptops. And they've been extensively tested um, and have passed military-grade um, testing. And a personal favorite part um, with these laptops, if you were to choose to use these, is that um, they have a K-12 educational solutions and information. So basically, Dell itself will be here for you through the entire process from start to finish of implementing one-to-one -one mobile computing into your classrooms. Obviously, a question that is probably on all of your minds is, what's the cost? Well, the laptops for the standard options are right around $449 each. So, say a total of 200 students are in the grades 7 to 9th. So the cost would be $80,980. $80, um, the laptops themselves are very durable and the initial cost, of course, especially for any sort of technology, seems like a lot, but I think that the opportunities and um, the benefits will make it worth it. Of course, the implementation. Um, the reason I would recommend uh, starting these type of technology environments with grades 7 to 9 is because I think um, the students and the school we'll get the most out of it this way. Um, these students are going into junior high and they're going to be beginning high school. So they're going to pave the way for an entirely different type of educational environment and system. They I'm so sorry. <laughs> Unfortunately, I lost my place. Um, but like I said, these students will be starting high school, so school districts will be able to really see how um, 
a one-to-one -one mobile computing environment has possibly changed the learning and the um, amount of information that these students take in and, and absorb and just how it changes them as compared to their pre predecessors. The way that I would recommend implementing mobile computing, obviously teachers are going to need a lot of resources and help to transition into the type of environment. Luckily, um, they'll be provided with laptops and appropriate instruction and resources to create a positive and helpful one-to-one -one learning environment. Um, and they can have access to mentors and help with the transition and ideas for curriculum, assignments, content, and videos and other educational opportunities that will help to create a good positive environment for their students. And this type of help would help these teachers to prepare for it. Um, they would help during the whole process and um, would also give feedback as they go through this new type of learning environment. The students would obviously have it easier. They would begin the school year and they would receive instruction and rules and um, be instructed in ways to use the laptops, appropriate ways to use the laptops, and um, the curriculum that they will be facing, as well as the type of technology that they will be facing. Luckily, I think the students will probably take it pretty easy, and it will probably be an easier transition for them. I think the impact alone, though, really pays for um, this type of technology. The teachers and students will have so many advantages. It will allow for learning using technology, our relationships, um, even today with family and friends, are very mobile. So I think that collaborating and communicating with peers and teachers will only enhance and improve their type of relationships. Um, the global learning and endless resources alone will change the way students view and experience education. And teachers will lead using technology and um, be able to create a curriculum that grows and expands and just is enhanced using technology. But a major perk and impact that I think um, is that students will become producers of technology instead of just receivers. So these students will go out and they will teach themselves and they will learn um, interactively instead of having information thrust upon them. Um, they will get the content but they will also get an interactive portion and they will also learn collaboration and communication and so many of these things are necessary later on in life, especially as technology becomes a bigger and bigger um, part of our lives. So I think that this will only um, enhance students' lives and opportunities for the future and will just continue to grow and create a really positive learning environment for all students within the school district. So I thank you very much for listening. And I hope you will seriously consider one-to-one -one mobile computing. Thank you.